Hey there Transformers fans, this is Trans E72 72 coming back at you with another Transformers review. Tonight we're going to be looking at the Creo Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime Mini Transformer. And when I say mini, it's not really that little, it's just that it's the smaller version of the two. Um, this is the one that uh, is, you know, from the basic line with no Creons and no extra stuff. You can turn him into, as I have him in the robot, but you can turn him into a truck or a robot. I find these things to be a little more interesting being transformed into the robot. There's the box there. You can kind of see. And there's not much to this box, you know. I think the bigger ones have more to them. Okay, now let's get on to the figure. I still have not worked out my lighting problem. I think I have to get a whole new camera, a whole new system. But until I do, this is about all I got. And I'm not working in a very large area either. Um, this is what he looks like. Uh, let's go over some of the finer points of articulation. Um, and I have to kind of do this in a small, tight area. So forgive me if my hands get in the way. I'm not exactly a small person. Um, so we've got some articulation here. Some articulation here. Head is on a ball joint. This head is much softer plastic than the Bumblebee and Mirage. Get some action going here. And then we have leg joints here and leg joints here. And we have feet joints like that. Wheels on here spin freely. Now, the one thing about this particular Creo set and uh, Mr. John John 35 has already talked about this so I'm not going to get too much into it um, transforming this or I should say taking it apart and putting it into truck mode is a tad bit difficult because the wheels don't really come off very easily if you want to do the truck mode so it's either or pretty much not to mention that, like all I said in my last review, a lot of these lines, you know, people, a lot of people feel that they should be able to see. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the wheels don't stay on, and then when you see this is where they attach, they're literally impossible to move the wheel off the peg without breaking the living devil out of it. You know you know as they say in Ireland a bit of a pain in the arse so um, but yeah there's that that you now what is it doing oh now my camera is doing automatic stuff on me which I really didn't want it to do okay there we go sorry about that um, however the nice detail the stickers are a lot nicer on this as you can see right there is the Optimus Prime sticker it's got the Autobot symbols, it's got the cab window stickers. Uh, That's a really nice figure. Uh, this was uh, uh, a lot of fun to build. I built it uh, with Miss Robot, who's a associate of mine. And she used to, she still does help me film uh, reviews when I do them, not up on the desk here. Anyway, I definitely suggest picking him up. Let's do a 360 here. Hopefully my hand doesn't get in the freaking way. He's a very nice, very nice bot. And I'm not a big Lego or Mega Blocks person. And, uh, but I really like these. Probably because I love Transformers so much that they kind of go together. Whereas the Star Wars Legos, I, I like the little figures, but not too big into the whole sets and ships and everything, but that could change. And anyway, um, he's just a really great figure. Of the three that I built so far, uh, I think I still like Bumblebee the best of the three. As a matter of fact, we'll bring them out for a little guest appearance for size comparison. 
There's Mr. Bumblebee. And then we have Jazz. Jazz is actually, let's see. Again, I'm sorry, peeps. I'm definitely limited in his face. Uh, Mirage is actually the tallest one. But once I get the bigger Optimus Prime, I'm sure he'll be, well, I know he'll be a lot smaller. Get those guys out of the way. These two are much more in scale with each other. Buddies for life, you know. Very G1-ish. Anyway him out of the picture there. I finally picked up the uh, Megatron set which I'll show another toy haul review and I, uh, you've, if you've seen my other toy haul reviews you know that there are other Creos that I'm going to do reviews on. Anyway click the like button please click the like button I don't seem to get a lot of people doing that and they will pass the word out to your friends you know, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. I've subscribed to a lot of different people who I admire, and then a lot of them won't subscribe back, especially the guys that are kind of big time, with the exception of Pia. Uh, Pia is one of those guys that you just, you know, he's just a wonderful guy. You know, he'll answer your questions. He subs to you, even if you only are a small-time guy like me. Just nice, nice guy all the way around, and very informative. But I want to give out a few more shout-outs this time. Um, another guy who I admire very much, um, uh, Aaron at My Turbo Reviews. Um, that's his thing, My Turbo Reviews. You've got to check out his, especially his latest vid on the Transformers Prime. Fantastic stuff. And nobody does better haul vids than Mr. John John Thirty Five. Because he, he lives in England, he's an English guy, and he goes to something called boot fairs. I wish they had those here, that we don't. I suppose it's something like a garage sale or, you know, some kind of a toy show or something, but that's their name for it. But, boy, does he get some good stuff, and he knows his stuff, too. Right down to the nitty-gritty. And he seems like a really friendly guy. And, uh, and that's my cat making lots of noise. Anyway, sorry about that. And there's Mr. Transformers, 96. Younger guy, nice guy. Seems to know an awful lot about Marvel, DC, and Star Wars. A um, couple of other people. Uh, there's a newer guy that I've subscribed to, Soundwave137. Sorry if I'm screwing that up. And Mitch Santona. He's, uh, he's a lot of fun to watch. He's got a whole bunch of different friends that they all do unboxing videos. And he's really fun to watch, too. I mean, there's lots of good guys out there. Um, anyway, if you uh, uh, have any questions or comments or want me to you know, review, I do have lots of G1 stuff. It is buried away at the moment uh, in my storage facility. But if you, there's a specific G1 thing you'd like to see reviewed, uh, especially the early G1, I do have quite a bit of that. Um, so you never know. Just you know, give me a shout out. Ask me what you're interested in having me review. Anyway, this is Transe72 signing off.